Hi there, welcome to this video preview of Dirt Rally 2.0. This is the sequel to what many saw as a return to form for Codemasters Rally games, offering hardcore simulation over Dirt 2 and Dirt 3's more simcade quick play rally stages. As a result, the gameplay here is serious and based heavily on the physics simulation as you guide one of 50 officially licensed rally cars around six real world environments. That means the procedurally generated stages made up of predefined chunks of track from Dirt 4 have been dropped, which is a very good move in my opinion, as the stages here feel unique, organic, and yet still go on for a very pleasantly long time. It's a proper rally game. However, that said, in the rally stages themselves, there does appear to have been a slight shift in graphical style. Rather than complete photorealism, I'd argue that there's a fair amount of artistic flair on display here, giving the game more than a hint of Dirt 2 in its appearance. That's not to say it's suddenly gone dude bro by any means, more that Codemaster's trademark visual style of some 10 years ago is more apparent here than the last game, and the result is pleasantly attractive. Still, the officially licensed World Rallycross events look far more photorealistic here, and the level of detail and density of the scenery throughout the game is magnificent, though at this stage it is the Rallycross stages that look the most polished, and the number of people in the trackside crowds is really quite spectacular, so currently that's where the graphics really shine. In the rally stages, you can race during the day or the night, which makes for unique challenges of course, and you'll want to look after your car too, because those headlights can be broken. One nice touch is that the post-stage repair screen that lets you fix parts of your car that you broke is a little more involved than usual, offering quick fixes or full fixes, as well as recommended fixes if you haven't got a clue what you're doing. So you can decide whether to do a rust job and then hope that the car holds it together until the end, or use your time to fully fix one component at the complete cost of another. The career mode is said to be more involved than before, but we'll be able to test that when it comes to review. The game, like its predecessor, is still very difficult, especially to begin with, as real rallying is something that highly skilled professionals can still get wrong themselves from time to time. But that said, the fences here have at least been strengthened. In Dirt Rally 1, as we'll call it, you often crash through a fence and into the field beyond, whereas now the game seems to keep you confined to the track limits a lot more, which will help newbies, at least to make them feel like they can stay close to the road if not actually on it. However, making the fences more robust may be a good move, but there are currently some immovable tyre walls on the rallycross tracks which are massively unrealistic, stopping you dead if you hit them. The Ego engine has been able to do trackside object physics for a decade, so this really does need to be fixed before launch. At least the damage modelling is good, and the game even offers you simulation damage if you want that real risk factor in everything you do. It's possible here to terminally wreck your car in one prang, and that's something not enough games let you do. Of course, you can turn damage off completely if you prefer, but it's great to have the realistic option too. The game's playing really well and getting close to finished, so things are looking good for its February 26 release on PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. A Switch version is currently unconfirmed, sadly, but we can always hope, especially since Grid Autosport is coming to Switch, so Codemasters is at least aware of the abilities of the platform. I'm also posting a video comparing Dirt Rally 2.0 with real life rallying, which I tried at a rally school in Wales, so do give that a look if you'd like to see more, and otherwise check out my channel for more gaming vids, music and other things. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you soon, cheers.